we have lost about half of the abundance of marine life and habitats, and therefore sustaining and conserving what is left is no longer enough, it's not acceptable. So the groundbreaking proposition of the Red Sea Development Company is that we strive to regenerate rather than sustain. Probably the most significant challenge we're facing is, is we're striving to enhance biological diversity by 30% across the entirety of our special economic zone. We're doing that primarily through enhancing our biologically diverse habitats, our coral reefs, our mangroves, our seagrass, and our native land vegetation. The most important thing that we've done so far, most groundbreaking, is really applying science and technology to help guide the development in ways that both protect and enhance the environment. We are developing groundbreaking technologies to restore coral reefs, including 3D printing, and we're also developing new technologies to restore mangroves, seagrasses, and other key habitats, but also to remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. One of the Red Sea Development Company's goals was to empower the local community. So we hired 30 environmental sustainability stewards. They help in uh, preserving, enhancing, protecting their environment. They feel that there's more birds coming in, more fishes coming in, and their beaches is becoming a lot cleaner. Regenerative tourism that the Red Sea Project is pioneering is helping kind of change the whole ethos of tourism. The reason that they come is because they leave feeling as though they've actually made the place better. Our commitment to the 30% conservation uh, benefit has, has really inspired the entire team to just continually seek better ways to both protect and, and actually enhance the environment.